Hi guys, it's Cassie, and today we have quite a controversial video topic, and that is reasons why I don't think you should buy a designer bag based on its investment value. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie, and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I write videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? let's go so investment bags and buying bags for their investment value and how much something retains its value is definitely a conversation that we are always having within the luxury community right these things are expensive people are nervous to part with that amount of money and want to make sure that if they're over the bag in one or two years time they can make most of their money back and look investment value and everything is a topic that i find very interesting i do an annual video of best and worst bags um, for investment value purely because I think it's interesting to see the data behind the pre-loved market and what things are actually making more and which which bags are retaining their value and all of that because it's so trend driven it's interesting to see at that point in time what's performing well on the pre-loved market you know now without a doubt for the majority of designer bags you're gonna make something decent back right especially compared to a non-branded bag it will retain some level of its value but here are some reasons why I don't think it should be your top priority to buy based on investment value. I know that for some people it is the number one priority when they're when they're deciding to buy a bag and these are just some personal reasons as to why I don't think it should be priority number one. Now before I go on Classics with a Quirk did a really great video on this I'm going to have that linked below in case you want to dive more into this conversation after this video but today I'm going to be purely focusing on the monetary value of the bags the monies okay as opposed to if something is a, is an investment with regards to how much you'll wear it getting your cost per wear down and that side of things reason number one why I don't think you should buy bags purely based on their investment value is that the resale or pre-loved markets are so hard to predict. Everything, as I mentioned, is so trend driven. And yes, while there are some specific brands and bags, namely, to be honest, the only one that is like top of the investment value food chain, as it were, are your Hermes Birkins and Kellys, right? And even within them, the investment value sways a little bit depending on the size, right? Because of what's trendy. Those to me are really the only exceptions to this. But generally, if we discount the Birkins and the Kellys, it is so hard to predict. There are brands that have come up recently that we would have never included in the conversation of like a good investment bag. Bottega recently has been proved to retain quite a lot of its value compared to what it was doing a couple of years ago. How could we have predicted that? With so many collections being dropped at the moment, it's so hard to figure out which one is going to be the one that pops off when the rest of the brand, you know, doesn't really necessarily keep its value that well it can kind of work for people who have a very high turnover of bags so I have a friend who she just like gets over bags very quickly within like a month or two so she will buy a hot trendy piece wear it for a month or two she's over it and because it's still very much within that trend cycle these bags are still in near new condition which is again something that you have to keep in mind she can definitely get her money back if not make something depending on how hot that bag is kind of thing even after commissions get taken out from uh, pre-loved websites and all of that but then that's her buying behavior and i think for the majority of people we kind of you know invest our love and our use into this bag for let's say a year or two and then maybe you're not feeling it after that year or two maybe that bag isn't as hot as it was you know it might still be in which case you'll do all right but again it's so hard to predict whether or not the bag that you like or whatever is still going to be hot and trendy or is still going to be a bag that retains its value at some point in the future the second reason why i don't think buying purely for investment value is the best idea with designer bags is that you can't relax because if you think you're going to be selling your bag at some point 
you need to make sure that she is in as best condition as you can keep her in to get the most money for her. You have to look after it. Fair enough, right? I don't think the majority of us are swinging it over our heads and dragging it through puddles whenever we get the chance. But just general daily wear and tear, a little bit of colour transfer, uh, transfer or a little bit of corner wearing really affects the amount that you can get for a, for a bag later on. And personally, I would drive myself crazy over thinking every time I want to wear this bag. And to be honest with you, it would deter me from wearing the bag because I would be so worried about it. These items are, yes, very expensive, but at the same time, personally, I'm of the mentality that I think that these things should be enjoyed. Otherwise, what's the point? That is the fun in using and having them. My final reason, and arguably, my biggest reason as to why I don't think that buying with investment value in mind should be your priority is that it can sacrifice your style. Because if you are then only buying bags that you know, within a certain extent, that you will get your money back on or make money, then you're really limiting the pool of bags that you can buy from, right? You are either going to be buying Birkins and Kellys, Chanel Classic Flaps, or very specific seasonal pieces that again, we can't really predict when one thing becomes really popular um, and when that happens, right? So for example, something like the Chanel pearl bag, you remember this came out a few years ago, it was very limited, well, well that's still now. If you bought that bag and you wanted to sell it now, you would still make quite a big return on. Unless you know which items these are, your pool is very, very limited. And I think that then that limits your capacity to buy within your style. Fair enough if classic bags are you and you wear very classic pieces, very timeless, very elegant vibe and all of that. But coming from somebody who is on the opposite spectrum of that, if my pool of choices was only those, then to be honest with you, it's just not fun for me. There is a world of designs and brands out there and this is speaking from somebody that I think it's very obvious that I have quite a lot of passion for luxury items and all of that. I feel like it should be an emotive decision and it should be something that ignites something in you and makes you excited and you fall in love with it and all of that. And I know that some people might listen to me and think that I'm crazy and I've gone a bit too far and all of that. But that's just me. That's just how I feel like it should be, especially when you're parting with, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of pounds for an item. And again, if you're somebody who wears a lot of neutrals and you look at a classic flap and your heart flutters and you think it's the most amazing thing ever, then go for it. But if it doesn't, don't force yourself to buy that thing because it's got investment value and whatever, because guess what? You're not going to love it when you use it. You're not going to get the use out of it. I don't know about you, I would be feeling a little bit of resentment towards it. I would be looking at that thing, swearing its little eyes, and I would be like, wow, you really did it to me, didn't you? I would be thinking that in the back of my mind, all right? But that's just me. So I think that the most important thing above investment value should be picking whatever suits you, your style, makes you excited, makes you want to wear it and use it because then you're going to get your money's worth then you're going to feel like it was worth it there you go let me know what you think of my reasons this isn't meant to put anybody down who um makes investment value their very you know their top priority when buying a bag this is just my personal opinions and thoughts i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.